methicillin, oxacillin, nafcillin, ticarcillin, papyracillin, and the dicloxacillin. Is there any difference among all these different types of the penicillin? Yes, there is. What's actually the difference between these different types of the penicillin? We will explore in this lecture what's the difference between these different types of the penicillin and what the similarities that actually exist among all these different types of the penicillin. So, stay with me, just focus on what I am saying to you. Please, if you do something, please stop doing that and just focus on the different types of the penicillin that we are going to discuss in this lecture. So, first of all, we will see the structures of the penicillin. General structure. So, in the general structure of the penicillin, four most important components that actually exist in the structure of the penicillin. So, first component or you can say first ring will be the thiazolidine ring. That's the most important thing. So, first component of the penicillin will be the thia zolidine ring that's the most important first component of the penicillin second component will be the beta lactam ring okay beta lactam ring so on the behalf of this we call penicillin as beta lactam drug okay and next if we move forward so the next third component will be the amino group. Amino group that will be the NH. And last component will be the alkyl. Here is basically the alkyl group, R group. Okay. So, three components will be common among all different types of the penicillin that is the thiazolidine ring, beta lactam ring and the amino group will be common among all the different types of the penicillin. That is the most important component. Okay. And these three components collectively call the 6 amino penicillinic acid. Okay. So, what the difference between the different types of the penicillin that will decide the alkyl group. Alkyl group will be difference in the different types of the penicillin. So, basic difference will lie on the alkyl group. Okay, that's the most important thing. So, before we move towards the different types of the penicillin, we will see the two most important susceptible components of the penicillin. So, actually, penicillin will face the two problem. First problem that actually penicillin lean phase is the stomach acid when someone take the penicillin and in that case orally if i say if someone take the penicillin orally then in that case stomach acid destroy the penicillin so we just have to make some changes so that's why there is little effect on the penicillin by the stomach acid that is the one component and second is the bacterial component bacteria produce the enzyme that is the penicillinase or you can say beta lactamase enzyme that actually inactivate or destroy the penicillin. So, again we just have to make some changes to prevent the penicillin by the destructions of the penicillinase or you can say beta lactamase enzyme. So, here are basically the two components. So, if I say this is the penicillin, penicillin is actually susceptible by the stomach acid that is the first component. We just have to prevent the penicillin by the destruction of the stomach acid. And second component will be the beta lactamase or you can say penicillinase enzyme. So, again that is the second component. So, again we just have to make some changes in the penicillin so that why there is a little effect on the penicillin by the penicillinase or you can say beta lactamase enzyme. Okay. So, if we move towards the six most important types of the penicillin. So, first is the methicillin. So, you just have, uh, if you look generally, then you will see the ring structure in all these different types of the uh, penicillin. Here is the ring structure. In that case, you will also the ring structure, ring structure, ring, ring, ring. So, there is a huge structure at what side? At the alkyl side. So, alkyl side, here is the difference point of the different types of the penicillin. So, in all these cases, you will see the alkyl group. 
in that case will be this one in that case oxycelline this one i don't think that you just have to memorize all these different types of the structure not at all you just have to look to make clear your concept okay so in that case the large structure of the alkyl group will prevent the attack of the penicillinase enzyme so if you see here here is the point where the penicillinase enzyme attack so penicillinase break the carbon nitrogen bond of the beta lactam ring okay so if you add the large group at that side then what will happen then the enzyme will face the difficulty if i say here is the enzyme so now this enzyme will face difficulty in reaching at that side at the beta lactam ring so that's why these different types of the penicillin are basically the penicillinase resistant penicillin penicillinase enzymes have little effect on all these different types of the penicillin that's the most important component and you just have to memorize this these that is methicillin oxacillin nafcillin ticarcillin paprocillin and the dicloxacin are basically penicillinase or you can say beta lactamase resistance penicillin okay so if you see here at the methicillin so methicillin basically most important that will attack on the bacteria most important bacteria that is staphylococcus aureus staphylococcus aureus most important bacteria and that bacteria actually produce the penicillinase so i think uh, penicillinase will not affect the methicillin because of the large structure of the r group okay important thing you will uh, listen two most important terms that is first one is the mesa mesa methicillin sensitive staphylococcus aureus means that there are some strain of the staphylococcus aureus bacteria that are actually sensitive to the methicillin methicillin can destroy that strain of the staphylococcus aureus and second terms which you will listen that is the MRSA that is the methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus it means that these are basically the resistant strain of the staphylococcus aureus and methicillin do not affect having no effect on this strain of the staphylococcus aureus and that's why MRSA cause the nosocomial or community acquired infection and there is a little effect of the methicillin on this one so here are basically the methicillin sensitive staphylococcus aureus and methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus also you got the point or you will see the difference between the MASA and the MRSA okay next is the oxycillin okay so oxycillin again is most important used against the staphylococcus aureus staph is species of the bacteria that is the oxycillin okay and again nafcicillin is again used for the staphylococcus aureus and dicloxacinin will also be used in the staphylococcus aureus so it means that methicillin oxycillin nafcillin and dicloxacillin are basically anti staphylococcal penicillin these types of the penicillin will used against the staphylococcus aureus that is the most important and the most dangerous bacteria because these bacteria will not be destroyed by the penicillin g penicillin v amoxicillin ampicillin they will destroy by any one of them okay and next you will see the ticarcillin so ticarcillin is used against the bacteria that will be the pseudomonas pseudomonas aeruginosa okay 
and they can also be used for the Klebsiella pneumoniae. Okay, that's the most important thing. They are used against the, they can also use against these bacteria along with the aminoglycosides to enhance their effect. Okay, and papyrusilin, that's the most important thing. So, papyrusilin is specifically or most importantly used against the pseudomonas. Pseudomonas erudinosa. Okay. That's the most important thing. So, P for papyrusilin, P for pseudo. So, that's the most important thing. That is again. And you can also add the penicillinase or beta lactamase inhibitor, and that will be the tazobactam. So, so you can use the papyrusilin along with the tazobactam to inhabit the or destruction in the destruction of the pseudomonas aeruginosa so basically there are certain penicillinase or you can say beta lactamase inhibitors that is the clavulanic acid or you can say tazobactam sulbactam avibactam so here are basically the different penicillinase or beta lactamase inhibitors so, you can use the papyrusilin along with the tazobactam in the inhibition of the pseudomonas aeruginosa and that is actually the anti-pseudomonial penicillin. So, here are basically the six most important types of the penicillin, methicillin, oxacillin, nafcillin, ticarcillin, papyrusilin and the dicloxacin. If you still have any question regarding any one of them, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.